Hi, I'm Dr. Efi Ioannidou and I'm an Associate Professor at the Division of Periodontology. I'm excited to serve as the course director of the Introduction to Periodontal Diseases and their Treatment. There are two highly prevalent diseases in the mouth, caries and periodontal diseases. Almost 60 to 90% of school kids, depending on where we, they are on, in our planet, and 100% of the adult population in our planet have caries. 10 to 20% of adults suffer from severe form of periodontitis. Cumulatively, caries and periodontitis are responsible for tooth loss. 30% of people more than 60 years old have no teeth, or as we say, they are dentulous. There are areas in the world where you can have your teeth pulled on the street and buy a, den a denture on the spot. Oral health is critically important for general health and quality of life. These are important for speaking, smiling, eating and singing. Based on the World Health Organization, oral health is defined as a state of being free from oral and facial pain, oral infectious diseases and cancer and having the capacity to chew and speak. As dentists, we prevent and treat oral diseases by educating the population on the risk factors and by offer, offering evidence-based treatment modalities that save natural teeth. Our goal is to preserve the natural dentition by ensuring proper oral hygiene, promoting healthy and low sugar diet, diet and informing the population about risk factors such as smoking and alcohol. Dental care is a significant economic burden in developed countries with 5 to 10% of public health expenditures on oral health programs. We are here to discuss the periodontium, examining the Greek etymology of the world we identify peri and endontium, meaning the tissue surrounding the tooth. Alveolar bone supports the tooth and soft tissues of epithelial and connective tissue origin, creating the soft tissue attachment around the tooth. Free gingiva is the terminal edge of the gingiva, usually one millimeter wide, leading to the gingival sulcus. Attached gingiva are continuous to the free gingiva, extending to the movable alveolar mucosa, separated with the mucogingival junction. Fun fact, the width of the attached gingiva varies in different areas of the mouth, wider in the front, narrower in the posterior areas. Junctional epithelium is non-keratinized and attached to the tooth via hemidesmosomes. Connective tissue attachment is densely fibrous with a system of collagen gingival fibers of collagen type 1. Chronic periodontitis is the most common form of periodontitis. It's more prevalent in the adults more than 45 years old. It's characterized by pocket formation and attachment and bone loss. The disease is associated with the presence of plaque and calculus. It's, it generally progresses very slowly, almost 0.1 mm a year. Aggressive periodontitis occurs in patients otherwise healthy and is characterized by very rapid attachment loss and bone destruction. It presents with familial aggregation. Patients with aggressive periodontitis usually exhibit amount of microbial plaque inconsistent with severity of the disease. There are two forms, localized with de de defect present in the incisor and first molar and prevalent in puberty and generalized present throughout the mouth in patients 30 year old or younger. So with this information in mind, welcome to periodontal diseases and their treatment and hope to see you soon in the class.